What's going on guys, it's Valence from back in the video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get the Play-Doh graphics from my latest video. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications and leave a like on the video. So in my latest video, you guys can see me playing Valorant with these extremely low graphics. It just looks terrible, like everything is just mashed up in like one color. It all looks like earth tones and all nasty. It's just, it's just Play-Doh graphics. So. And because of the low graphics and textures, it's gonna help you guys boost your performance. So if you guys have low end PCs, this is gonna help you guys a ton. So stay tuned for the video and you guys will learn how to do that. Subscribe one and leave a like on the video. And now let's hop in to the tutorial. So down, so down below in the description, you guys are gonna find this file. Once you guys extract it, you guys are gonna find these two files. It's, one's gonna be the hex value and one's gonna be Nvidia Inspector. So before we start, you guys are going to need an NVIDIA graphics card for this. So if you guys don't, this won't work for you guys. But I have a tutorial coming soon for Intel and AMD. And if you guys want to see that video, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications. So then you guys will be notified right when that video drops because I'm working on it and it's going to be coming out soon. So stay tuned. And now let's continue with the tutorial. So I know in my last video, a lot of you guys had some problems with NVIDIA Inspector. But today I'm going to be addressing it and solving those problems because I read some of your comments and I seen what you guys were going through. So today we're going to be going through the tutorial nice and slowly. So first you guys are going to open NVIDIA Inspector and then click on the EXE file and run it. Once you guys have it opened, click on the gears icon. Once you guys have it open, you guys are going to see the top, it's going to say profiles. So a lot of you guys said that you guys couldn't find Valley in my last video, but you guys don't have to use Valley. You guys can use anything that's installed on your computer. So it could be any random game. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's not installed on your computer or then you guys can be messing with the pro So on the profiles, I just clicked Valley last time because it was like a random name that was easy to remember. But if you guys don't have Valley, you guys can use anything. So since valorant isn't yet in the profiles i don't know how it changes but it's not in there yet so that's why i use valley so if we click on it and we type in val um i don't see valorant anywhere yet but we can use anything that's on here just make sure it's not installed in your computer so valve steam we have valley just just like what i used in the last video and in today's video i'm going to use valley again and what what you guys can see it do is it's looking for valley.exe that's what the executable is for valley whatever valley is it's like some random game i don't know but it's just looking for valley.exe but your computer doesn't have it so we're going to change it so then it looks for the valorant path and to do that all we have to do is click on this button up here with the green plus click on it once and then we can go to riot games client and it's inside of your program files on your hard drive so we're going to add riot client services click on open so next we're going to click on this plus icon again go to riot games click on valorant live shooter game binaries win64 and add this file into the program now click on open and now you guys are going to have all of these files added so now we're going to move on to the anti-aliasing all you guys have to do is change off multi sampling to replay mode all now you guys are going to scroll down to lod bias dx make sure it's dx or you guys might not see a difference in your graphics so in the second file i included in the zip folder is going to be called hex value you guys are going to open that file up open the file up and then copy this value and also make sure you guys are subscribed or it's not gonna work. I'm just kidding. And then we're gonna move back onto NVIDIA Inspector, highlight everything, paste, and it's gonna paste this hex value in. Now you guys are gonna click on apply changes. Now you guys are set. Now close out NVIDIA Inspector, open up Valorant, and your graphics should look like this. So hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you guys are excited for the 
AMD or Intel tutorial, make sure you guys smash the like button and also have notifications on. And thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. One enemy remaining. Still got it. Got the spike. Ten seconds left. Four down. Spike planted. Take out Cypher's cameras. He's weak when he...